Well, congratulations, you made it through the book of Matthew. Today, we start the, the book of Mark. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are called the Synoptic Gospels. If you lay them next to each other, you'll see a lot of stories are in all three of the different Gospels. But because they're written by different people and different audiences, they're a little different. Whereas Matthew was written uh, by, a, by a Jew, uh, he's written by Matthew, written to Jews, it has more references to the Old Testament, to Jewish culture. Mark, written to Gentiles, and Peter was the one who gave Mark the information, so it's eyewitness accounts, but it's a little more topical. It doesn't start with the birth of Christ, as you see. So as you go into it, you'll, you'll see some overlap, but it's kind of cool because you see a, another look at Christ from a different perspective. But today, I don't want to talk about one verse. Uh, it's uh, Mark 135, and it says, Early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus departed to a lonely place, and there he prayed. I love that verse. One, if you read in the chapter, he has just spent the evening, he heals Peter's mother-in-law. All these people come out. They want to be healed. He heals people. He casts out demons. He had a late night, and he could have easily said, oh, man, I'm tired. I'm not getting up. I was a youth pastor, and I promise you, every night after a lock-in, I didn't get up early the next day. But Jesus did because he wanted to be with the Father. See, he was 100% God, but 100% man. And because he was 100% man, he was limited. God can be in all places at all time. Christ, one place. God knows all things, but Christ, with a human limitation, he learned, it says. He learned obedience through the things he suffered. It says he grew in knowledge. See, he had that human limitation. And he says in John that he didn't do anything the Father doesn't tell him to do or say anything the Father doesn't tell him. So every day was that personal connection to get his marching orders. And let me say this. If Christ needed to be up early in the morning, to spend time with the Father, how much more do we need it? And proud of you guys. Every morning, you're getting up. You're part of the New Testament Challenge. You are doing a fantastic job. So look forward as we continue through Mark. Great job. Keep moving forward. And remember, start your day off with focusing on God.